Hey guys, today we're making this KitchenAid inspired stand mixer. Hope you'll enjoy. I first made a sketch to get an idea of the size, then drew a stencil for the top and one for the bottom. Starting with the bottom, roll out a fairly thin sheet of clay and use a stencil to cut out the right shape and size. Then round off the edges. Stack a few thicker sheets of clay and cut out a rectangle. This is going to form the stand. Cut out a piece from the center to form a slot or groove and place a rectangle on top of the bottom piece, then pre-bake. After pre-baking I used a file to even out the shape. I then wrap clay around the base and blended out the seams. You also want to add a small piece to cover the front of the groove that you cut before. Just like in my other appliance tutorials, I'm using the F-Color enamel powder to give it that glossy enamel-like surface. If you don't have this, just use your normal glaze to make it shiny when it's done. Now take the stencil for the top and cut out two of these. One of the layers was setting number 7 on my pasta machine and the other one was setting number 3. Take the thinnest piece, cut and place a circle in one end, round off the edges and use a dotting tool to make a groove. Then place a small piece in the opposite end and cut to fit. Take another thin sheet of clay and press the top of the stand into it to make an impression. Then trim off any excess. Place this on top. Then take another small sheet of clay, use a needle tool to make a hole, trim off the excess and attach this to the center of the previous piece. Add a second circle to the first end, use a needle tool to make a hole and bake. Now roll out a log in about the same thickness as the other two pieces, trim and cut it like shown in the video, then put it on top of the second piece from before. Cut out a circle and round off the edges, attach another sheet of clay and trim it to form the back piece, then poke holes for the vent. After baking the rest of the pieces, I added the F-Color enamel powder. When all the pieces are ready, glue together the three pieces for the top portion of the KitchenAid. 
I then used my electric file to drill a hole in each side of the stand so that once you push a headpin through it, it allows the mixer to tilt. Cut off the excess wire from the head pin and add a dab of glue to each side. To make the mixing part itself, I cut and bend some wire in 0.8 and 0.4mm. Glue the pieces together one by one and finish off with a strip of aluminum tape. Finally, make the kind of decorative bits and pieces. For the trim, I used the metal from a tea light, then glue all the pieces in place and add details. I used silver colored alcohol ink and black acrylic paint. Super quick how to make the bowl, just form the basic shape and bake. Then use mold putty to make a mold and add clay the same way as in my tableware tutorial. After pre-baking, I took it out of the mold, painted the inside and added a mix of solid clay and liquid clay, then baked again. After baking, I painted the outside of the bowl, seal all the painted details with glaze and you're done.